Hey everybody, welcome to PBM's Video Entertainment. And before we begin today's episode, I want to mention something. So recently on my community page, I set up a voting thing where I let you guys pick which next two episodes of PBM's Home Media Reviews you want me to review next. And there are two options. I could review wreck -A ralph 1 and 2 or Disney's Planes 1 and 2. So make sure you go to my community page and vote which next two movies you want me to review next. And the voting will end on Thanksgiving, and the winner will be decided. And now we got that part of the way. Welcome back to another episode of Thomas and Friends DVD Reviews. In this video, we're going to be talking about Pop Goes Thomas. So without further ado, let's jump into the history of Pop Goes Thomas. So Pop Goes Thomas was originally released back in March 1st of 2011 by Hit Entertainment and Lionsgate. And then somewhere around 2014, it was re-released by Universal Studios. And it was also released over in Canada as well. And now we got the history part out of the way, let's jump into my copy of Pop Goes Thomas. All right, we will now jump into my copy of Pop Goes Thomas. So I have the Lionsgate copy from 2011. This is the US copy. So <clears throat> let's have a look at the front poster. Here we have Thomas looking all happy. Is that some fair, some sort? Here we have Mr. Bubbles, some children, and here we have a freight car filled with lemonade. And yep, pretty nice background. Thomas delivers our, a uh, Thomas delivers a cargo full of fun. Thomas Friends logo, Pop Goes Thomas tile card, spine, hit entertainment, Thomas Friends logo, Pop Goes Thomas, character profile of Thomas, same promo shot of Thomas, just like with the front post art. Landscape, back, blurb, if you want to pause and read that. Bubbling boilers. Here we have Thomas and James at the back. Bonus features. And here we have some children. And the languages, running time approximately 50 minutes. All that copyright information. And the case, it's in an eco-friendly case, which those are the worst cases, in my opinion. Here's the disc, squish a version of the front post art. And now, let's jump into the menu tour for Pop Goes Thomas. All right, we have now jump into the menu tour for Pop Goes Thomas. So here we have play, episode sl selection, language selection, and bonus features. Same menu style, just like with every other Thomas DVD. So here we have... Episode selection, let's go to that. Here we have Pop Goes Thomas, Jitters and Jakes, Thomas's Crazy Day, and Pingy Pongy Pickup. Language selection, English, Spanish, and French. Last but not least, bonus features. So here we have Sodor Hide and Seek Game, and a bonus episode we have Rory the Racing Car, Rory's First Day. And here we have some trailers from Hit Entertainment and Lionsgate. And that's it for the menu tour for Pop Goes Thomas. Now let's jump into my review and thoughts on Pop Goes Thomas. So overall, do I recommend Pop Goes Thomas? The answer to that is, well, same answer just like with every other Mail Era Thomas DVD that I review. The answer to that is, if you're a Thomas fan that hates the Miller Era, don't buy this. But if you're a Thomas fan that doesn't mind the Miller Era, or actually likes the Miller era, then this one's for you. <clears throat> and, yep, that's going to do it for me, everybody. Sorry, that not a lot to talk about with these Miller era Thomas DVDs because, well, it feels like every episode from the Miller era is basically the same, if y'all if y'all know what I mean. Like, if you watch the entire Miller era, a.k.a. seasons 13 through 16, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Anyways... That about wraps up this video, and the next episode will be on the Birthday Express, so please stay tuned. See y'all next time. Bye.